how hard a guy is going to hunt by how he's dressed. I have here the smallest a fanny pack. I, I've taken people hunting and their pants are cold or they're thirsty or something. If you're going to go serious, always take a small pack with you. And ladies have been carrying purses. And my grandma, I mean, she had she had everything in her purse. I mean, a kid got sick, she had medicine, sew, sew up a wound, do anything. And that's why most females, ladies, are a lot better hunters than men. Because they're more thorough, they think, where guys let that testosterone level get too high. And here comes the lady, doing everything the way it should be done, the way it was taught. She doesn't get in a hurry. She's used to carrying a purse. And I don't know what's in their purse. A lot of them have those credit cards. I know that's the only thing that gets them in trouble. But most of them, you know, are used to it. And you should, you don't have to have something too big that cumbers them. But this way, it's going to let you stay in the woods. You got some drink of water. You, you know, you got some uh, handy deals. Is this required in Iowa? No grocery. Orange. Okay. It's not. It is. You're wrong. If you go the late season doe season down in southern Iowa where the guns are going off, you're required to wear this in Iowa with the bow in your hand. Didn't know that, did you? You go and be, you know, you might take it off when you get up in the tree, but when you're on the ground, you got high-powered rifles going off. You got any gun they want to be hunting. You're in the firearm season then. So if you select to go with the bow, you better have this or you're going to get written up. And I don't care. You know, you, that's one of those deals that you get screwed up on because you hunted with your bow all season. Now you're in that late season doe killing season. But that's a gun season. They'll let you hunt it, but this is a requirement. Most guys say just what you said. No. You know why you don't have to have this in, in Iowa in the archery season? No, because the IBA, the Iowa Bow Hunters Association, defeated that. At one time, you would have had to wear this orange in your hunting season. Now, with that said, if you go to Canada and you go to bear hunt, you better have it with you. Because they don't have a separate, uh, you're out there with the guns too. So you, when you go to the stand, you have to have it. Different, different places have it. But if you said you didn't need this and you had a bow in your hand, in that January 11th season, that like last year was the 31st, this is required as a bow. You've got to have orange on You know, keep that in mind. Just little things that, you know, you got to keep thinking or you're going to get uh, uh, caught up in it. Now, what's the, what, if you're going to go to the field, what's one of the most critical things you, you got to have in your possession when you're going to go to the field? Huh? huh? Toilet paper. <laughs> Other than toilet paper. The real most critical thing. You better have your license with you. And it better not be in your car. It better be on your person, and it better be your license. It better not be your wife's license or your some distant cousin's license. You better have your license on your person. That's required by the law to have it not not in the dash or up on the dash. It's supposed to be on your person. Toilet paper, second, you know, that, it, uh, it uh, it's pretty well needed. Just a couple things you can have. We, we're not going to go over all that. But you know, you you get a lot of little stuff in that little bag, and uh, if you if you got it, you you you're, you you've got some comfort. If you don't carry that stuff, you're you're at, at a disadvantage, as far as I'm concerned, because people you can't stay long enough. You 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 you're, you're uncomfortable. You might want to put a little bit of a snack bar in there, an apple, an orange, something like that. Uh, just some things that you know could make it go. For you new guys, you, you can have a, a little saw, because you always got to saw the limbs off. Got a pair of clippers in here. You can snip some limbs out of the way, especially turkey hunting. Uh, GPS, uh, a leatherman. How many people have a leatherman? A multi-purpose tool. How many people use a multi-purpose tool? Okay. Yep. How many times do you use that multi-purpose tool? Bradley? Yeah, you do. If you don't know, they used to call them Leatherman, and there's a little tool like this. It's got, it's got everything. In it. It's like a Swiss Army knife. I don't know. I cut an antelope with cotton fence up in Wyoming. I cut a, an antelope on video out with this. 
You know, if I hadn't had them, the animal would have, you know, probably would have come demise. But just having it, you never know when you're gonna need them. You work on your bow or something like that. Doesn't, doesn't you know, first time guys, you got you gotta get some equipment. Like I told you about the on the outset, combination pizza. You know, gotta be technician, farmer, environmentalist. It's it's a never ending never ending season. Just because the season ends, you can always you can get your GPS out. Uh, and how many people play that GPS game in the city of Des Moines? You know what I'm talking about? Oh no. They, they, don't don't talk about that. they got a game where you know they give you a they got a it's in the park like Browns Woods has it. And it just gives you GPS skills. And you can hone all these and you can be a lot better deer hunter. You can put in your deer stands and you can you, you think they're scary about getting lost away and there's no reason not to have these. But they got a little game in Iowa or in Des Moines, Polk County Parks have it. And they give you the coordinates, and then you punch the coordinates in and follow your GPS to it. And then you're supposed to take something out of the little box and put something in, and then you know write down. And it's just a good exercise. I say the deer season never ends. Any of this stuff you can do. It's say you know you're bored Sunday morning or something. Say you ain't got nothing to do. Oh, there's all kinds of things to do. Your imagination, folks, is your limitation. If you've got a very limited imagination, you got a whole lot of limitations. But uh, um, just set you up a nice pack that you can be comfortable with. Don't make it all burdensome, but we won't take it. The last thing you're going to have it is when you need it. You never know, what, which, like in church, you never know when you're going to need it. You know, so just get it set up. By the way, I, I, you, you new guys, how many of you new guys come with this pack? I used to until I started carrying a climber, and then it, that does. It's kind of a pain to. Get that hooked up on your climber, and then yeah. But you, you, you got all year to figure that one out. You know, how, who, who's a new time guy? This, this lady here. No, here. This is just feel what that weighs. That's not bad. No. I mean, you got you got a candy bar or something in there, an orange, an apple, a lot of little tools in there, a blaze trail and stuff. You know, and you, like I said, I can tell. You know, they tell me, they can tell a lot about a guy who shoots a Matthews. The guy shows up and he don't have one of these on his back when he leaves with me. I ain't tell a lot about his hunting. It ain't going to work. I mean, because he, he's an hour, hour and 15 minute hunter. You know, what happens if the deer don't move in that hour and 15 minutes and he doesn't want to stay a few years? He's not I, I had a guy last year hunting with him. He, he either had the biggest pockets, but he was always miserable. Because when we get to the hunting spot, he's stuffing stuff in these pockets. You can't get stuff in your pockets. And I tell him, why don't you carry I don't carry a pack. He was a converted gun hunter. Well, when he was a gun hunter, he never needed that. Because, he, you know, he's walking all the time. And he's going to drive through here. And he's going when he gets done driving, he, he's going to meet up with the group. And then they're going to get in the truck and drive someplace else. He, he wasn't quite up to speed on being a stationary hunter. So get you a pack. You know, you don't have to be a great big Burdison pack. But... Uh, you, you you can you can do a lot, and I had a little oh right here. This is a, this is a first aid kit. There's all kinds of things to do with this first aid kit. You know, first of all, it's got a reflective top on the bottom. If the light hits it, if I got I don't know if you can see that, but it, 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 when that light hits that, it, it's a piece of reflecting tape. Shiny on the top, daylight, and you can shine it. It's rolled and rolled and rolled with a whole bunch of flagging tape. The inside of it, imagination is your limitation. Number one, you get it at nighttime, you get your fire going. You, get, you know, it, it's not that hard to get that fire going. You got some candles, you know. Uh, the thing on a, on a first aid kit. Number one thing, I'm, I'm sort of going along here a little faster than I want, but that's the, you know, the light, that's a strobe light, should come on. There's your candy bar. Uh, this, all right, Here, here's what I was looking forward to. Okay, a lot of this stuff, Maldi broadheads, if you shoot muzzy, I can put new heads on there. 
I can sharpen my broad edge with this little file. It's a, it's a little diamond file. Extend it out. Those traditional heads, it's sharp. Plus, it'll sharpen my knife. This little gadget right here, you know what this was? Let's show you what this was real quick. Uh, it's always a bummer to have to do these even wrong. This, this little deal, if you, if you want an instant tripod, and you can make these, I made them out of several different things. This one was a bottom one. You know, you always want to get a hero picture if you, you, know, you don't have a situation. I've had this for years, but I made a whole bunch of them. Very simple to make. That's what I said. The hind season never stops just because it says, because you can keep coming up with these ideas. Okay, you take your arrow off there. I think Rich drew that out of there. Now, if I want to take my, you know, everybody's got a camera today. This camera one's up there. You got your tripod. <laughs> You know, and it's a very little room. This other little deal right here, this is a clamp. If you, if you want to make a spark, you want to make a spark, maybe we can catch this on fire. It's a steel wall. Yeah. Here we go, fire. Everybody see that fire? Okay. Get it out now. <laughs> All right. Imagination never ends. Be a good boy scout. I want to show you something else how to start that. Uh, but remember when I told you I broke my rest? I want to fix it. You know, when Tom fell over there, the rest broke. Okay, that was a bad deal. Now, if I didn't have one of these, you just seen me shoot that bowl a little bit ago. See how this rest got bent? That's unusable. Okay, if I was on a hunt, I'd be up that quick without that battle. There, I'm back in business. Anything, any questions about Tom? Main thing, safety harness. We're going to give you a tree stand safety thing tomorrow night too, so you gotta, you'll get that. Rubber boots, you know, that's nice to have rubber boots, you know, you know scent-wise. Uh, you know, it, it's just nice to dress for the hunt. But uh, uh, the, more, the more you put into the hunt, the more you're going to get back. So, at least probably, I think he's a, you probably learned more from this dummy than you did me tonight. But, but I tell you, you, you never want to quit learning, and you never want to quit, you know, experimenting with your stuff. But one other thing that you need to have when you climb that tree, and that is a tow line. That's to pull your bow and your pack up. You might have two. I use two. My pack got so heavy with the cameras and stuff that I lower that down. So I was always trying to figure if I fell out of the tree, how would I get my pack if it was hanging up in the tree? So it dawned on me, before I go down the tree, I lower my pack down on the ground. Now when I'm get most accidents happen when you get in the tree and out of the tree. So I'll leave my pack on the ground and I'll pull it up. So if I fall back on the ground, it's down. So when I get ready to leave, I lower it down. It does. But uh, don't be trying to pull the bow and all that stuff up the tree. You new guys, that, you're trying to keep all your contacts on the tree, not trying to worry about getting your bow up there. But you let your bow, that's the last thing after you're tied in, that's the last thing. What I'm trying to do here tonight, tomorrow night, is to get this open up. Our tree's more than this. This is just one tool. Your brain is your best tool you got. You should always keep trying to expand it.